Where are we? Uh, in Glencar. Oh yeah? Is this Glencar? Yeah, I think this general area is kind of Glencar. Okay. Well, what can't you do? Leitrim, I we're think, on this side. This side's Leitrim, yeah. This side's yeah. Leitrim. So we're doing um, Truskmoor. Yes. Truskmoor is a high point of two counties, Leitrim and Sligo. Uh, or rather, well, Truskmoor and then Truskmoor South East Top. Um, so uh, we've actually put this one off for a long time because there's a normal way up, which is just drive up. There's a there's a radio mast on top, yes. and there's an access road the whole way up to the radio mast, um, and that sounded kind of like a boring way to do it. But there are access rights issues for much of the other routes up the mountain. Um, but the Irish Peaks book, which we yes. talked about in a copy of those a while ago, mm. um, has a route up that's uh, accessible, yes. um, and there aren't any access rights issues at least at the time of the book printing. Um, so we're going to go up that way. Um, I'm very excited. Are you very excited? Yes. Great. Um, this area is unbelievable. The mountains are just, it's like there's two levels um, and then there's just wall. It's unbelievable. Um, yeah. So I'm really excited to get up to the top of the plateau and, and yeah. look around. And, yeah. yeah. Just more is the highest peak in the Ben Bulben Plateau range. Right. Um, I'm sure that has a name. The Ben Bulben Plateau range, I think. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's the height? Do you know? Off the top of my head, I also don't remember. No, 620? I don't remember. Something like. 628, I think. Yeah. Something like those lines. We'll, we'll double check before um, we start heading up. It, it, like, it's funny because they're really not tall mountains. Like, compared with a lot of other places, it's just not that tall. Yeah. But here, because it's so just. It's just so dramatic. Sheer cliffs everywhere. Yeah. It feels huge. Yeah. So I'm really excited to. In the background, you can probably see uh, Eagles Rock, yes, also known as Hags Leap. It's yeah. actually known as Hags Leap, yeah. Hags Leap. Um, yeah, but everyone calls it Eagles Rock. Yeah. Um, so we're heading up the Miners Way Trail. Um, not the Miners Way, but there's in a mining Common. trail. <laughs> there is a, there's another trail up this side yeah. called the Miners Way Trail. Yeah, which um, is pretty much zigzag straight up. Yeah. I think it, it climbs like. 500 meters over the space of a kilometer or something like that. Yeah. So this is going to be pretty severe climbing. Yeah. Um, but then it's all done. So More or less, yes. Yeah, you, you won't see any footage of the first kilometer here because we'll be out of breath the entire time. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah. It's our first high point in a good while. Yes. Um, when we, what was the last one we did? I can't remember. I don't know. Yeah. I think it might have been the small one before IKEA. Oh, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, Kildare, it, was it? keep it stand here. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> this is definitely so this is more a quite a change. Yeah, this is a mountain. Yeah. Um, mm. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I don't yeah. know what we're going to expect up there, but um, yeah, it's a great day for it. But it is also 2.36 and it's sunset at 35 minutes past six. So uh, we have not an awful lot of time to get up and look around and get back to the car. But maybe we'll have a really nice sunset. Who knows? Okay, massage of walking. Miners zigzags, and now we're kind of heading up into the call beside Trusk Moor, and then we'll head what southeast towards the peak and then come back around by the cliffs at least. Yeah, for that's now, the plan fine. for now. We'll see if the weather holds. Yeah, the climb wasn't too bad, no, very steep. I, th I think we've actually not done all of it yet. So. No, no, but yeah. the zigzags aren't too bad, yeah. like quite steep, but moved through them. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, and it just looks fantastic. Oh, that's Sligo. No, is it? No. No, 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 no. Sligo no, no, that's south um, of us. Bundoran? Bally Shannon, maybe. Oh, Bally Shannon's probably a better guess, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. 
looks great up here. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Really does. It's incredible. Yeah. Okay. Back to it? Yeah. This has been our break. Still experimenting with trail food, so we just had some Rice Krispie buns, which is a very traditional Irish recipe. Uh, it's been around <laughs> a long time. Uh, anyway, um, we're now at the top of whatever this thing is called. Just Trust more. more. I remember. <laughs> I remember. So this is—is is this the Leitrim or the Sligo top? Um, technically the Sligo side, I okay. think. Um, and there's a. Uh, a car and just around the corner and that's technically Lee Trip Stop. Yeah. But they're both this mountain basically. Yeah, I mean we can see the other one from here. Yes. If we could see anything. I was right gonna now. say apart from the clouds that have blown in to obscure all of our summit views. Yes. Um, <laughs> Traditional uh, yeah. That's been a great hike up. Yeah. Like two hours from car park to top and it was spectacular. It was really, really good. Yeah. The whole and way we up was good. Took it handy because we were filming. Yeah so we took it pretty we easy. You could, you could do it an hour and a half or even an hour and twenty I'd say. Mm. Um and like it's one of the easier unmarked ways I think, I, think? I thought it was pretty easy because you could see once you get on top of the plateau and on mm. top, up to the top of the plateau is on a little track and once you get up to the top of the plateau you can see the antenna and you're like well I know where I'm going True. you pretty much just beeline straight forward over open bog and as long as you don't fall down a bog hole or get eaten by leeches or something you, you should be fine um, yeah, yeah, it was great. The the views are just unbelievable from here. Yeah, you we'll show the you them once they reappear. Yeah, you see the ocean, you see loads of other mountains, you see Donegal. Donegal. Um, yeah, amazing. Mm. Great spot. Um, I look forward to, this seems like quite a good staging area to go up and do a lot of the mountains mm. here. Um, or just a lot of walking on top of this plateau. So we might come back and do it again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Honestly, some of the best views. It's been great. I, I, I can't remember the last time I saw the views. Nice. It's 
head torch season. It's only like seven o'clock, but here we are. Head torches. The head torch I'm wearing is one that we. The head torch I'm wearing. Now you can see my nose. The head torch I'm wearing uh, is one that we've had for like eight years now. Um, very old head torch, this one. Yeah. I think this might be the first time I've ever worn it. <laughs> Close to, anyway. Certainly the first time I've ever worn it hiking. Mine is the Petso uh, Echo Core. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> All these things are funny names. Um, I got it for running, um, and it has a really nice kind of webbing frame across the back of my head. Like a tiara? Yes. Yes, this is my princess crown. Glowing. Ah. Um, <laughs> so it makes it really easy to, like, comfortable to wear. It doesn't, it's not like a band of pressure. Um, so that's why I like it. And it goes quite bright. Um, yeah. I don't like this one. It's <laughs> like, just, boop. Your forehead has a thing stuck to it. So, but maybe I'll... But in the car. Yep. So. I'm glad I have it. Because it is dark. I feel very clever that we have a head torch acting as our filming light. Uh, <laughs> uh, who needs to get like big fancy lights when you can just film with a head torch? Yeah. Uh, I bet my fringe is uh, looking fantastic mm. after the head torch, squishing it uh, into place. Well, that was an absolutely fantastic plan. Yeah. What oh, a I love it. Wonderful way to spend an afternoon. Honestly, such a brilliant high point. If you do this going up the access road, you're completely missing out. It's such a good way up here. But yeah, no, I think it was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, it is open bog, it isn't a trail that you follow. So sure. if you're somebody who isn't comfortable in open bog. Yeah, absolutely. It's very much a hike. Doing it this way, you want boots on. Yeah. Um, it's quite steep yeah. um, to get up and then it's quite steep at the end. Yeah. Um, so I understand, I guess, why the access road is talked about, but yeah, it just seems so boring in comparison. Yeah, I don't know. That was so gorgeous. It, yeah, I really, yeah, I, that was such a good way up. Yeah. Loved it. Yeah. Really, really, really good. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the views are like absolutely 10 out of 10. And, well. and we barely even got to see the views at the top because the clouds yeah, came in. Yeah, the clouds came in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it was so good. The whole way here was just really, really great. It's one of um, the corners of Ireland I knew the least. And so I like, we went surfing a few times last winter. We'd be driving up the kind of Leitrim coast and I was just blown away yeah, by yeah. how amazing these mountains looked. Yeah. So I'm so excited to have done a couple now and to, yeah. to do all of the rest of them, basically. Yeah, I, it really feels like there's a, with these mountains, there's like a relatively straightforward up to the top of the plateau yes. and then you just kind of walk along like yeah, yeah. on top of the plateau to wherever it is you're going. Yeah, so this so, is like one of a few plateaus that are part of the Dark Tree Dark Mountains. mountains. Yeah. Yes, so yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. it's great. Uh, yeah, it was incredible. Loved it. Yeah, um, took us four hours? Four and a half hours according to my watch. Okay. Um, but Round that trip. includes filming, uh, which is easily a half hour. Oh, um, more. Yeah. And uh, so. us sitting around and uh, Wandering around the station at the top, and you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, it's quite easy to miss the cairn for the southeast top. Oh, so yeah. the southeast top is Leitrim's high point. Yes. Uh, while the trick point is Sligo's high point. Yes. Um, it's really not super worth going to the cairn. I mean, the views from no, there are just views, as good as anywhere else. The views from there were really gorgeous. Yeah. In any case, um, <laughs> it's it's easy to miss it. Yes. Uh, so and it's a little bit further away than than we expected, but yeah. It's fine. Uh, the handy thing is, if you're out of care and you look at a map and you see that you're past the county boundary, you're, you're there. Yeah, yeah, that's how um, we sussed it out. We're like, oh, we think this one is the one. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's such a plateau around, so it's really easy to tell if yeah. you're at a high point. And we're like, oh no, we're still in Sligo. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it must be the other one. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else is. It's just such a good one. Yeah. The, the climb up is like pretty okay terrain. It's just quite steep. Mm -hmm. It's like 300 meters of climbing. Easy. Whoa. Up to well at oh. the start here. Like, oh yeah, there's kind of two climbs. Yeah. 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 Like zigzag. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's there's kind of like um, the climb up to the top of the plateau. Yeah. And then it's a steady climb 
just to get kind of near the yeah. the main peak, and then it's quite another climb up. It was yeah. for me, it was a bit of a scramble actually. I went to the slightly different route. Yeah, we both um, kind of picked a different path up. Yeah, there, there's yeah. definitely there's a, a wall that is the county boundary, yes. and that's quite easily seen and really useful for navigation very helpful for navigating we knew that we go up the kind of steep bit like yeah through, through zig zig up, zigzags yeah. onto like the plateauish area yeah and kind of like keep kind of going up until we hit the, the, the wall yeah and then we just follow the wall towards the antenna yeah or the mast and then it was easy yeah um so yeah i think it's a pretty like i think if you're fairly comfortable on the mountains mm. uh, this is probably not a bad one to go out on by yourself yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, it's up to everybody. Like, we're Indeed, not, we're not yeah. tell them. Don't don't fall yeah. down the black hole. Yeah. And, and <laughs> so, um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was so good. Yeah, I agree, time. Such a good one. I, I can't wait to come back to this one actually on another day. Yeah. Yeah, I just think like because we could do. I think that one's T Vaughan, or maybe it's Tim Vaughan. Yeah. I forget. Anyway, um, there's another peak that we didn't do today. Yes. That's part of like a little figure eight route that you could do. And there's a wreck of a World War bomber yeah. on the other on the other side of the other peak. Yeah. So that could be cool to see. Yeah. So I look forward to going back and doing that. And that would be just as easy in the centre. Um, we were lucky with the weather, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It's been so wet. Like yesterday, there's weather warnings. Um, yeah. We just got a magical few hours. Yeah. So we were very lucky. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll come back and we'll do that sometime soon. I hope. Yeah. Um, and we'll do this other, this other peak here mm. and have a look around at more of the peaks in this area because, like this and uh, Ben Bowden have both been easy climbs and yes. big payoff. Yes. Uh, I wouldn't have said that this is easy climb, but like a medium climb, but a, a much like an outsized payoff for yeah. the climbing that you've done. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping that all the other mountains in this area are like that too. Mm. Anyway, it's food time. Yeah, okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Great. Okay. On to the next one. I guess so. Okay. There's no, there's no good. Oh, you have to do shadow puppets. Oh, yeah, I, do shadow puppets. <laughs> I can't do them anyway, so it was more just for a joke.